Christ and be glad of Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, sit, did vouchsafe to give joy to the whole world, grant we beseech thee that through his mother the Virgin Mary we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Sfere in Deo corna me toco fidei bonini, salutari vultus me et Deus meus. Gloria Patri e Finio et Spiritu e Santo, sicu derat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. In troi volatari Dei, et Dei qui litifica il rubo tutto meum. Auditorum nostrum in nomine Domini, qui feci celum et terra. Confiti udem di potenti, via di magna spiriti, via di carri d'angelo, via di mano baptiste, sancti posti spetti di pau, e odi mani maria, via di mano frussa, di zibo, di sfrates, come di cammini, Stazione, verbo ad opere, meo culpa, meo culpa, mea maxima culpa. Ed io prego mei ad ammariam, se vedete che abbiate un calma tempo, che abbiate un buon battista, un santo sposto spetto, un fao, un buon buon ammariam, un buon ammariam, un santo sposto spetto, un buon ammariam, 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 un buon Sanctis Apostoli Spetro et Paolo, Omnibus Sanctis et Divi Pater, quia peccavi in imis cogitazione, bebo et opere, meo culpa, meo culpa, mea maxima culpa. Ed eo prego beata Maria, sempre virginem, beata Mattaile Macangelo, beata Miguelum Battista, Santos Apostolos Spetro et Paolo, Omnes Santos et Te Pater, orrari pro me, ad Dominum Der Nostro. Miseriatu vesti in ipotens Deus, et emissis peccatis vestis, petuc et vos et vita metana. Amen. In urgencem, solucione, metro missione, peccatorum nostorum, trebiu et nomis on ipotens misericus Dominus. Amen. Deus, tecum versus profeticabis non, se plebsio letabit on in te, ostende nobis Domine misericordiam tua, et salutare tuum da nobis. Domine, exaudi razione mea, et clamo mea se te venia. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, orremu. Eduxi Deus Dominus in spe, Alleluia, ed inimicos eornum peruit mare, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Attendite, popule meus, legum meam, inclinate aurum vestram in verba oris mei. Gloria Patri e Filio, et Spiritu e Santo, sicu derat in principio e nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum, Amen. Eduxi Deus Dominus in spe, Alleluia. Et inimico se iormo peruit marde. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Et inter pax omnibus bone voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracias agimus tibi prote magnam gloriam tuam. Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pater non dipotens, Domine Filii Unigenite, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus, Aonius Dei, Filius Patris, qui tali spectatum mundi, miserere nobis, qui tali spectatum mundi, suscipe et implicationem nostram, Qui sedes et extrem patris, miserere nobis. Boniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu in gloria Dei patris. Amen. Pax o vobis et cum spirito tu. Orde vus. Omnipotens abitene Deus, qui pascale sacramentum e reconciliationes humane fede, Federe contulisti, tamensibus nostis, 
ut quod professione celebramus imitemur effectu. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum filium tum, qui tecum vive da regna d'un eletati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orremus. Ecclesia tu equesmus Domine precis procatus admite, ut istruxis a fisse salsi puse tevori pusum efesis, secure tebi servi et evitate. Deus omnium fidelium pastor et recto familum tuum Ioannem, quem pastorum ecclesia tu ecora et se voluisti. Propitius vespice, da equesmus verbo et exemplo quibus breis porficere, ut ad vitam unicum crecis ebi credito beveniat sempiterna. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum filium tum, qui tecum vive da regna ad unilitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lex epistole viazzi petri apostoli. Carissimi, Christus semel pro peccatis nostris mortuus est, justus pro injustis, ut nos offeri et Deo, modificatus quidem cane, vivificatus autem spiritu. In coet his, qui in carcere erant, spiritibus veniens predicavit, qui creduli tu erant aliquando, quando expectabant Dei, patientiam in diebus noe, cum fabriceretur aca, in qua pauci, id est octu anime salve fate sunt per aquam. Quod et vos non similis forme salvos facit baptisma, non carnes se possio sordium, se conscientiae boni interrogatio in Deum per resurrectionem Iesu Christi Domini nostri, qui es in dextra Dei. Deo gratias. Eic dies quam feci Dominus, exultemus et letemur in ea, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, qui Deus Dominus et eluxit nobis. Alleluia, alleluia. Dicite in gentibus, qui a Dominus regnavit ad igno. Vittime pascali laudis imolent Christiani, agnus redemit oves Christus innocens pati reconciliavit peccatores, Bones et vita duendo, conflixere mirando, dux vite mortus, regnat vivus. Dig nobis Maria, qui pitisti in via, sepulcrum Christi viventis, et gloriam vidi risurgentis. Angelicos testi sudarium et vestes, surrexit Christus pes mea, precedit vos in Galileam. Scimus Christum surrexise a mortu visvere, tu nobis victor rex miserere. Amen. Alleluia. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, sequentie sancti mangeli secundum Matteum, gloria a chi vi domini. In illo tempore, undicem discipuli abierunt in Galileum in Montem, ubi constituerat ilis Iesus. Evidentes eum adore verunt, quidam autem dubita verunt, ed ecedens Iesus locutus est eis, dicens, date est mihi omnis potestas in cielo et in terra. Reuntes ergo, docete omnes gentes, baptizantes eus, in nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, docentes eus evarre omnia quecunque mandavi vobis. Et ece ego vobiscum, sum omnibus diebus, usque ad consumationem seculi. Laus, tibi Christi. today is taken from the first letter of St. Peter the Apostle. Beloved, Christ died as a ransom paid once for all on behalf of our sins. He is the innocent for us, the guilty, so as to present us in God's sight. In his mortal nature he was done to death, but endowed with fresh life in his spirit, and it was in his spirit that he went and preached to the spirits who lay in prison. Long before they had refused belief, hoping that God would be patient with them in the days of Noah. That ark which Noah was then building, in which a few souls, eight in all, found refuge as they passed through the waves, was a type of the baptism which saves us now. Our baptism is not a putting away of outward defilement. It is the test which assures us of a good conscience before God, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who sits now at the right hand of God. And the Gospel today is a continuation of that according to St. Matthew. At this time the eleven disciples took their journey into Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had bidden them meet him. When they saw him there they fell down to worship, though some were still doubtful. But Jesus came near and spoke to them. 
All authority in heaven and on earth, he said, has been given to me. You, therefore, must go out making disciples of all nations, and baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all the commandments which I have given you. And behold, I am with you all through the days that are coming, until the consummation of the world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi, beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast Mass on this Easter Friday, the sixth day of the Easter Octave, wherein, remember, we are celebrating a whole week of Easter Sunday, as it were. Today, our thoughts turn once again to baptism, in part because, as we reflected earlier in the week in ancient times, the neophytes, i.e. the newly baptised after the vigil on Holy Saturday, would spend this week in celebration still wearing their white baptismal garments, which they will take off after Mass uh, on, the, uh, on the octave day, this coming Sunday. Hence, this coming Sunday is known as Dominica in Albis, White Sunday, because of the white robes of the neophytes. It is, of course, also known as Quasimodo Sunday, uh, but more of that on Sunday itself. Uh, so our thoughts are turned towards, again, baptism. Today also, of course, uh, was the day the Stational Mass was uh, taken in that great pantheon that had been converted to uh, 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 venerate the uh, Blessed Virgin, and uh, it was a great focus uh, of uh, veneration of the martyrs of the Church. And so it is, uh, of course, and that is always used to be in Paschal Tide, uh, the martyrs, the veneration of the martyrs are very closely associated with the resurrection, of course, of our Lord because they have attained, they have shared in his blood uh, for the faith, of course, and they are uh, celebrating their, uh, the bodily resurrection with him in heaven. So, uh, and of course, they are a great inspiration to the newly baptized. Martyrs are a great inspiration uh, to those new and fresh to the faith, for they see in them those uh, people with solid belief, who believed in the promises of eternal life, who believed in the promise of heaven, and endured great torment and great sorrow for the sake of the gospel of good news of redemption, which of course in the gospel today we are bid, we hear that great commission, we reflected yesterday upon it, the great uh, commission to the apostles to go out and baptize and bring others to the knowledge of salvation in the good news of Jesus Christ, which commission of course we share in. In the epistle today from the first letter of St Peter we hear a reference there uh, to our Lord's descension into uh, hell. Now uh, this of course is in the Creed, in the Apostles' Creed on, on the third day he, uh, he uh, after being uh, crucified he then descended into Hades. Now the important thing for us to remember here my brothers and sisters is there is a difference between uh, concepts here. We're not talking about Gehenna, which is uh, literally uh, uh, a place for uh, the absolutely lost souls. We're not talking about Gehenna, but we are talking about Sheol or Hades. We're talking about, perhaps we might say, Limbo. We were talking about that place in which all those saints uh, uh, before Christ, uh, all those great prophets, all those great holy men and women of the Old Testament, the patriarchs, etc., all of whom were awaiting the Messiah, were in this state of limbo. They could not yet enter into heaven because our Lord had not yet immolated himself in sacrifice for the atonement of the sins of humanity. So they were not yet born ready to be, to, to be received into heaven. So our Lord, after his death, after his burial in the tomb, uh, descends, uh, and the phrase in English, unfortunately, says descends into hell, but he doesn't descend into hell, he descends into this uh, moment, this, this uh, place uh, of waiting. And there he presents himself so that the saints of old can see and recognize and acknowledge the Messiah and themselves, accept the salvation one for them, and, uh, and they go off then uh, through purgatory and into heaven. And uh, also for those souls who had ever rejected God, they see the finality of their choice. All those people in the old times who refused to obey God's law, who refused to believe in the possibility of the Messiah, they now have to see him. And of course, uh, their sorrow and their torment is greatly increased, uh, 
having seen the possibility of the salvation that they could have had. Now, at the end of today's Gospel, our Lord says, And lo, I will be with you always into the end of the world, to the consummation of the world. And here, my brothers and sisters, is where St Paul speaks to us of this period of grace, from our Lord's ascension until his second coming, this period of grace where we have the opportunity all humanity has the opportunity to see and behold the Messiah, to recognize him as our Saviour, to accept his gospel of good news and redemption, uh, to avail ourselves of the forgiveness of sins, to reconcile ourselves with God, and thus make our, begin our journey towards making ourselves worthy to enter into paradise with him for all eternity when his kingdom comes. But this, again, is uh, one-off. We only get this opportunity in this life. We will not be given the opportunity like those saints of old were given in Hades and Sheol who were able to see the Messiah. We will not be given that choice. Our time is to see the Messiah now. And our Lord, of course, fulfills his promise. And lo, I am with you always to the consummation of the world because he is with us, body, blood, soul and divinity in the most holy Eucharist, in the sacrament of his love, where we see the Paschal victim, where we see the sacrifice of Calvary, but we see too also by virtue of the resurrection, his glorious transfigured body. And we receive that restoration of healing, of forgiveness, of reconciliation with God, when we receive that new manna from heaven, the new bread of life, that means and guarantee by which we receive eternal life. Now is the time of our salvation, now in this period of grace. And it is beholden thus upon us, my brothers and sisters who have been baptized, to embrace the Great Commission and ourselves to ensure that the gospel of good news and redemption is shared. Indeed, my brothers and sisters, it is considered an act of charity. Of course, our whole lives as Christians are supposed to be about charity, about sacrificial loving, and to live in love and in union with God sacrificially, to live in love and in union with each other and for each other sacrificially, and to give such love, to demonstrate such love, uh, that others may come to live in love and in union with God both now and for all eternity. But for them to do that requires them to hear the gospel of good news, which means we need to share it. And we can share it as we reflected on Easter Sunday and earlier in the week. We can share it in the transformation of our own lives by demonstrating, uh, by applying ourselves and striving to lead more holy lives as Christians, people will see the transformation, they will see a change in us, they will see that we are different. We perceive the world through eyes of faith, we no longer see the world through its vanities, through its vain glories, but much rather we see it anew, renewed, enlivened, re-enlivened uh, through uh, the eyes of faith, through belief in the resurrection. We see the world for what it is and that should be seen and noticed uh, in others around us by the way they see that we regard earthly issues and earthly problems and earthly cares. For we who are training our eyesight on heaven, my brothers and sisters, we have we should not have uh, care for the same issues and concerns that others do in this life. Why should we? We are on our journey towards eternal life. We are on our way to eternal joy and bliss. Anything that happens in this life, therefore, is as nothing compared to that great prize of eternal life that we will receive. What is a bit of pain and misery and suffering now when we're going to receive uh, such joy and such light and love and peace forever? But we need, my brothers and sisters, to convey that in the way we ourselves live our Christian lives by demonstrating uh, uh, to uh, others uh, in acts of charity, by being patient, by, by being kind, and all those other wonderful characteristics that St. Paul describes in 1 Corinthians. We, my brothers and sisters, in his letter to the Corinthians, we, my brothers and sisters, need to demonstrate that so others see that we are different from ordinary people. I know, my brothers and sisters, that it is a fault of the human condition, this kind of tribalism, uh, this feeling that we don't want to stick out from the crowd, that we must look and dress and act the same way as others. Not if we are Christians, my brothers and sisters. We must not look and act like others do, because we should be changed. We should be changed. We are not after any more a corruptible crown of material riches and wealth and comfort. We are after an incorruptible crown of eternal life. 
and we begin our eternal life with our baptism. And so we must live our eternal life now. We must look as though we are living our eternal life now. We must live out our eternal life now. And others will see that change in us. But not just through seeing change, people must also hear it in our conversation. They must hear it in the way we talk and the way we speak. They must hear it in the way we talk about Jesus. Ask yourself, my brothers and sisters, honestly, how often do we talk about Jesus? How often do we talk about Jesus as if he was next door to us, as if he was with us, if it's, as if he was sitting in our conversation, as if he was sitting at our table, as if he was sitting next to us in our chairs? How often do we talk about our relationship with Jesus in the same way that we talk about our relationship with friends and family and other people? Do we include conversations about Jesus? Do we mention him in our conversations? Do we share the gospel? Do we talk about our human weakness and failings and yet the wonderful blessedness of the mercy of God offered to us through Christ by virtue of his passion and his death and resurrection? How sin is no more a barrier towards us? How we can live in love and in union with God now and how we are living it now? Do people, will people notice uh, that uh, we talk with hope all the time? That we, that we don't share in negativity, but we try to talk in words of hope. That we try to talk in terms of inspiration. That we try uh, not to let earthly concerns affect us. Do we demonstrate that, my brothers and sisters, in our daily lives? Do we demonstrate all of this? in our daily life and conversation. For certain, my brothers and sisters, that is how we are called to live. That is the admonishment of all the apostles and their epistles in the New Testament, encouraging us to live changed and different lives so that people will see that we are different and will thus be drawn, drawn to the light that is Christ that is radiating his life through us, his resurrection life, his Christian hope, that promise of eternal glory and eternal happiness and bliss with God. Let us, my brothers and sisters, so strive to endeavour ourselves to live life in this way. For certain, my brothers and sisters, if we did so, we would encourage one another. And if more of us did it and encouraged each other, others would be encouraged too. And others would feel drawn uh, to approach <coughs> drawn to approach and ask us why are we so joyful why do we have such hope why are we so upbeat despite all the cares of the world so that we can answer and tell them because we live in Jesus and Jesus lives in us and we will be with him forever who is God Father Son and Holy Ghost Credo in unum Deum, Patrem omnipotentem, factorum celi et terre, visibilium omnium et invisibilium, et in unum Dominum, Iesum Christum Filium de Unigenitum, et ex Patrium antum anti omnia secula, Deum de Deo Lumen de Lumine, Dem Verum de Deo Vero, Genitum non factum consustantialem Patri, requem omnia factus sum. Qui propte nos homines, propte nostrum salutem, de celi de celi, sed incarnatus est di Spiritus Sancto ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus et siam clonobis, et pontio pilatu pausus et sepultus est, et resurrexit tres ideas et cumnus scripturas, et descendet in celum sedere dextra in patris, et iterum venturis est con gloria iudicari vivos et motivos, cui vos reni non enet finis, et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantem, qui es patris progeni, qui con patria et filium semblem, semulator et horicum glorificatur, qui lucultus est per profetas, et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confisi unum baptismum in missione peccatorum, et expecto resurrectione mortuorum, et vita venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus obiscum et cum spirito tuo. Arrebus. 
erit vobis hec dies memorialis alleluia, et diem festum celebrabitis salemnem domino in progenies vestras, ligitum servitenum diem, alleluia, alleluia. Ipse en veros es agnus, quia absolut peccatum omni. 
qui morte nostre moriendo distruzzi, et vitam resurgendo reparabi. Et in Deo come angelis e rac angelis controlis e nove nazionibus, con coi omni mies e celestis exegitus, e non gloria e tuoi canibus in e file di centes. Sanctus. 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 Dominus Deus Amea, pleni sum celi et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis. Benedicus cui venit in nomine Domini, hosanna in excelsis.
scuola con i spettatori. Omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orremus precepti salutari bus moniti de bene situzione formati. Ordemus dice. Pater noster qui es in celi, sanctificetum nomen tuum, ad bene ad regnum tuum, fiet voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis ordine, dimite nobis de epita nostra, sicut de nos dimitimus de vitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Se libra nos amar. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum, et cum spirito tu. Ecce onius Dei, ecce quitolit peccato mundi. Domine, non sindignus, ut in te sottecum mea, settentum de quembo et senabit uranima mea. Domine, non sindignus, ut in te sottecum mea, settentum de quembo et senabit uranima mea. Domine, non sindignus, ut in te sottecum mea, settentum de quembo et senabit uranima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion, the words for which we'll find below your viewing screen. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, 
calmly, spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee, and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Potestas in cielo et in terra. Alleluia. E un testocete omnigentes, baptizantes eos in nomine patris et fili et spiritus sancti. Alleluia. Alleluia. Dominus obiscum et cum spirito tuo. Ordemus. Respice quesmus domine, populum tuo, et quem eternis dinatus et renovat renovare i misteri a temporali bus pulpis in anter absolve. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum Filium Tum, qui tecum vive da regna ad unenitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordemus. Caesmus Domine Deus nostre, ut quos divine tribuis participazione gaudene, humanis non sinus abcere peliculis, Egnos quesmus Domine Divini Sacramenti in Bacepsio Protegat, et Fabulum Tuum, Ioannem que pastorum ecclesia tue presa e polubisti, unum cum commisso sibi crege, salvet semper et munia. 
Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Finium tu, vita e cum vivita regna ad unanitati Spiritus Sancti Dei, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, ite misa est, alleluia, alleluia, Deo gratias, alleluia, alleluia. Sed nomen Domini benedictum, es ob nunca dusque in secula, auditorium nostrum in nomen Domini, qui feci celim et terram, benedicat vos, omnipotens Deus. Pate et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Nobiscum et con Spirito Tuo, initium Sancti Vangelii secundum Iovannem, Gloria Tibi Domine. In principio ad Efebum, et Efebum ad Efebum, et Deus ad Efebum, hoc erat in principio ad Efebum, omnia per il suo factus sunt, e simso factum est nilo quo factum est. In il suo vita erat, e vita erat, lus abinum, et lus in tenebris, luce, et tenebris, e non comprehenderum. Quoi comme mes sous de que nommer la Joanne, si que venait une testimonie, mon testimonie peut perdre du lumen, et comme est-ce que tu es un Non, elle était la lux, et le testimonie peut perdre du lumen, et elle lux vera, quoi lumina tonnem, hominem, rientre, et me non condom. Et mon duel out, et mon usprit son factus est, et mon usem non cognoci. Et proprie venit et suom non ceperum, quor quota autem riceperum tem, de de resporestatim filios de fieri, inscri crenti nomine eus, qui non est sanguinibus, ne cruzentati canis, ne cruzentati viris, et externa ti sunt. Et vergum cargo factum est qui. Et habitavit in nobis et vinimus gloria meus, gloria quasi unigenitia a Patri, plenum gratia et veritatis. Deo gratias. Thank you.